Hi everyone, again we're going to be looking at another subtopic on that fraction which is decimal and we have this illustration here, we look at this, this is 34.7 where 3 is 10 and uh, 4 is 1, so this can also be called units and after the decimal point we rate from the smallest which is 10 and this, we refer this as 10, this can actually be expressed in this uh, form below which is this if we look at it, we have 30 plus 4. 30 plus 4 will give us what we have, which is 34. And for that decimal point 7, that implies that it has actually been expressed in what? In decimal from fraction. So we have 7 over 10. By the time we divide 10 in uh, 7 places, it's not possible. That is 0. Add 0 to 7. That's 70. So 10 can go in uh, 70 how many times? That is 7 times. And that's why we have this. So this is an example of how we can actually write our decimal values so we have an uh, illustration here this one is reading 100 this is tens and this is units now this is one over 100 is already in a uh, fraction we write in decimal this is already also in fraction we written in decimal and we add this as fraction and it's uh, uh, change as well to decimal so we have 3.27 and 0 0.038 so if you want to call this for it's going to be three units two tens and seven hundreds and why this one we can't express it because it's zero and as well this zero so this is what this is under hundred and this is under uh eight thousand so by the time we are calling this we call it 3.275 which is written as this and it can be expressed as three this is whole number and this is a fraction form this is a fraction form the other one as well we are can express 0 0.038 as 3 over 100, which is 300, this is in fraction form, and 8 over 1000, this is also in fraction form, and this is a proper fraction, just to review our previous topic, because the numerator is smaller than the denominator, so this takes us to the next, and we have another example here, if you look at this, this is 210, and this is 700, so if you want to call this together, we call it 2700, and this is a fraction, it's a fraction, by the time you add it up together, Looking for the denominator, we have it to be 27 over 100. And we also have here 38 on 28,000. So this is 3 over 100, and this is 8 over 1,000. By the time you add it together, uh, under fraction, we can have uh, 38 over 100. These are expressions of a, of a proper fraction that can be written in decimal places. So when you're talking about decimal places, is the number of time a given natural numbers can be approximated after the decimal point. So after a decimal point, the number of times that uh, a problem can be approximated is what we know as decimal places. So let's try these activities. That is the number of time a given natural number can be approximated after the decimal point. That should be decimal place. So now that should be decimal place. Okay. Now if we have 305,000, we can actually refer to this as what 35,000 because this is the last uh, expression of which is in thousands. So by the time you have the two of them together, it will be in thousands. But remember, these thousands we are talking about fractions. So let's check. I think we are right. So if you have two tens and one three hundred, what can we call that? This is the last expression in hundred. Then it should be what? That should be. 2300 so let's check so we are right now we go to the next one which is percentage we are talking about this percentage this one is showing us how we can actually express uh from fraction to you know decimal point and from decimal point to percentage so i'll just explain the little aspect of this then we can look through the other ones if you have one over 100 over 100 what is that that is one that is 100 can go in 100 that many times one time and by the time you are expressing this in a percentage it's going to be what 100 percentage now that is it has no uh remainder so but look at seven or 75 over 100 that we have here if you look at it and we start to the reduce you know 15 Five can go in this, five can go in this, uh, two can go in that, and two can, so six, uh, by the time you divide five in uh, 75, and 100, that is, uh, that, that five into 100, that is 20. So by the time you reduce again in 75, it's going to give us what? That's going to give us, so by the time we reduce again by two, it will give us three over four. You reduce, uh, 
by two, you have three over four. And so by the time you divide this 75 over 100, it will give us 0 0.5, which is what 75 percent. Look at 50 over 100. 50 can actually go in 100 straight up. So 50 in 50, that is one. And 50 in 100, that is what? That is two. So by the time you are expressing that in decimal point, it's going to be 0 0.5. And in percentage, that is going to be 50%. That is just like we're having half of 100, which is uh, 50%. Uh, so we still have other ones downward, which we can look at. This is 25%, which is 1 over 4 which is 25 over 100, and by the time you reduce uh, in percentage, you have it to be 0 0.25. This is 100%. That is, by the time you reduce it, it's going to be 1 over 100, 10 over 100, that is. 10 can go in 100 that many times, 10 times, and 10 can go in 10 that many times, one time. And by the time you are reducing using decimal point, 100 cannot go in 10, right? So we have 0. So 100, by the time you add 0 to this, this make it 100. 100 in 100 will give us what? 1. And that's why we have 0 0.10. So look at uh, an expression here. We want to look at this calculation and want to solve it to get uh, Okay, so if you look at this, this is what we say. We are talking about what five over uh, five. Over, we are saying five over eight. So times what one hundred. So we want to see what is our and now let's look at that five times over eight times one hundred. Five times uh hundred will give us five hundred. Then we divide it by what by eight. So if we divide through by eight. Now, and we are rating in percentage. Remember, we are rating in percentage. So, it can go in 500. That many times we have 62.5 percent. So, if we are to do that, uh, 5 over 8 of 100 will give us 62.5 percent. So, we have that. Now, let's look at uh, 52, 5, 5 over 5 times 100 is what? That's 500. So we have a 500 here, right? Now, 500 over 8, as we have explained, that's going to be what? 62.5% based on our previous uh, illustration on it. So let's check. So that is right. Now let's look at what if, okay, this is an example here. I want to illustrate this as well. We are going to be showing uh, a 184 times uh, 37. So we are going to be uh, expressing it as well. Okay, so 184 multiplied by what? 37 multiplied by 37. 7, in, uh, 7 times 4 is what? That's 28. We have rate. We keep our 2 here. Now, 7 times 8 is what? 56 plus 2. That's 58. So, we have 8. Now, we can now have 5. We are keeping 5 now. Now, 7 times 1 is what? 7. 7 plus 5. That is 12. So, we have 1, 12. We have 12 here. So, we have 1, 2, 8, 8. Now, we multiply this as well with this. So, 3 times 4 is what? 3 times 4 is 12. We keep 1. So 3 times 8 is what? 24 plus the one that we are keeping, that's 25. So we are writing 5 now. Now we are keeping what? We are keeping 2. So 3 times 1 is what? 3 plus the one that we are having here, that is 5. So we have this as 5. Now we are adding up. Let's add up together and let's see what we have. So we have it to be 8. 8 plus 2, that is 10. We have 0. We keep 1. 2 plus 5, that is what? That is 7 plus the one we are keeping, that's 8. Now, 1 plus 5, that is what, 6. So when we are multiplying, if we multiply 1, 8, 4 by 37, our answer is going to be 6,808. 6,808. Okay, this takes us to another topic, uh, which is division. So we are showing an example here. We are going to be using this long division method. So we are solving 4, 5, 3.0. We are dividing it by 6. And we are using the long division method. Okay. So let's look at this. 6 can go in 45. How many times? That is 42. Uh, 42. Okay. And that is what? Uh, that is 7 times. So 42 minus uh, 45, which will give us what well, that is 3. So we bring this 3 that we have here. We are bringing it down. Now we have, a, remember, we still have our 0. 
So six can go in 33 how many times? That is what? Five times. Five times that is, which is what? 30. Six times five is 30. So we have uh, 33 minus 30 will give us what? It will give us three. So if we have three here, remember we have a decimal point here. So we are having a decimal point as well. And we are bringing the zero down here. So six can go in a... Uh, uh, 30 how many times six can go in 30 how many times i believe that is five so we have 0.5 here and so by the time you subtract this one this one will give us zero and zero so if we have our long division we are solving four five three point zero divided by six our answer is going to be seven five point five so that's going to be our answer by the time we use the long division method. so this take us to the next slide and let's see we have an activity here we are supposed to uh, pick the appropriate answer so let's look at it percentage is denoted with what i believe is denoted with this sign which is percent now we have, we have to change the um, three over five to percent i'll just give us illustration and how to go about this i want us to do this on our own so it's going to be three over five multiplied by 100 so by the time we have it is going to be three times 100 over five so by the time we calculate that our answer should be 60 percent so we have this and let's check we have our answer to be what 60 percent that because three times 100 is what 300 so by the time you divide 300 by five it will give us 60. so we have that it will be all right now we are talking about equivalent uh, fraction this is just to bring uh in another subtopic of, of fraction we're talking about equivalent fraction equivalent fractions are fractions that have common multiples so we have things in common so which is actually true let's check and also percentage always has its denominator to be what to be 100 and when time you are calculating percentage and denominator or whatever we are going to be multiplying with is going to be what 100 because it is we are dealing with a cent so percentage is its denominator is what is hundred so let's check so yes we are good to go this is the end of the class we want you to subscribe for the full uh book of this uh interaction book on our website we want you to subscribe uh for the full details of this interaction book on our website which is what uh www.edub.com thanks for listening